उत्साह है ग्रीटिंग्स टू यू ऑल सो द टॉपिक आई चोज एज यू सी नो इन द कैप्शन इन नो बट द अमेरिकन प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शन सो पीपल बी वॉन्टिंग इन इज दिस फॉलो यू नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द अमेरिकन इलेक्शन यू नो दिस नॉट अ पोलिटिकल वीडियो टू से नो आई सपोर्ट दिस पर्सन ऑफ दैट पर्सन दिस इज this video is all about the process in how the american election is done welcome to my channel so i chose the topic today as a monologue to talk about the presidential election in united states so the main idea of doing this video uh, about the presidential the process of us election how the process it's not about you know who will win who is not going to win no it's not about that only the process the american election process is totally different one and is very interesting if you watch my old video doesn't matter in which part of the world you are watching you will find some new information which i over the years i saw it watched it and i also gone through uh, this past few months to get the information on the process in which the american presidential elections and at election also the presidential election now i wanted to give some introduction okay why i chose this topic and you know in november 3 november 3 a tuesday in maybe in 10 15 days the presidential election in the united states will be over okay now who wins and who loses is not this not the topic or this my subject because it's an american election so i have nothing to do with who winning and all but that for academic interest i was following up this election over the years you know starting from george w bush uh, junior with uh, al gore where this uh, election you know went to the supreme court and then after 19 days something like that you know george w bush junior was uh, declared as the president elect they call president elect till and on they take the oath then later you know obama and then he took two terms that's not a problem but 2016 i followed up the whole thing so why i have to follow up the whole election process there are a lot of confusion about this primaries in both parties and then you, they call it super tuesday and delegates caucus and the thursday you know all this you know the convention and then the two parties you know they go and nominate this uh, or our candidates for the presidential election that was very interesting to watch so the most interesting and also you know a little different and fascinating issue in the presidential election process is this electors electoral college this is this is what and i took me some time so i decided to let me make a video so how many people see my video it doesn't matter to me because over the months i followed up with the news not one particular news channel in all american news channel and other news channel including our indian media okay to understand and grasp the process in which this uh, electors they elect their president in the united states maybe that's the only country in the whole world they adopt that method okay this is the introduction then i visited washington dc in 1983 so way back okay maybe 40 years now and i was going from liberia west africa i was traveling to india on my way i stopped in new york maybe for a month then i traveled to washington dc and one of my well wisher is a very nice person he took me around washington dc and took me into the capitol building just like our parliament i saw one session you know i sat in the gallery and watched the session in 1983 so i posted a photo i'm standing right in front of the capitol building just like our parliament building and then another part of it is i lived in liberia west africa for some time and they adopted the same one like the americans you know the flag the constitution and they have the senate also represented the speaker all that one capital hill capital building you know speaker all that one so i there i met people you know 
But those days, you know, just we meet people. So now, the present presidential election, they said, that will be, I don't know, what, whatever the people they say, it, you know, be more interesting uh, election in the history of the United States. Why? Because a lot of the opposition is there for President J. Donald Trump and also he has his own support base. So now I gave you a rundown, you know, the why I'm making this video. So kindly watch my video, this video and my other video, which I'm posting it immediately about the electoral college and the electors who are going to elect the president. Okay, now how this came up. So in this video, I just give it just why I'm doing this. Okay, maybe some error will be there. Then kindly forgive me for that error. Say I'm not an expert. I don't hold any big degree in U.S. politics or civic. It's only my interest. I hope now it's almost the, the points I'm talking to you is correct. So welcome to my channel. This is Jordi Prem Kumar. This channel is all about people, places, events and travel. No? This is my monologue. Maybe I'm going to add some photos, videos because I'm a little worried about this copyright issues and I don't want in my channel. So now to understand the process, the American election, okay? So I told you, you know, the, the reason why I chose this topic to do it. So now, before we go a detail, you know, into the, the branches of United States government, the Senate, the House of Representatives, how many are there and what is the Electoral College, who elect the electors and how they vote, all that one. So I want to just brief you what's happening now, okay, the previous months, okay. Because, you know, every presidential election, uh, it starts with the primaries, they call it primaries, you know, where people uh, that will compete with each other in each political parties and then only one person has to get the most delegate votes. That's very interesting. That I think we don't do such things in India. Our system is totally different like the one they do in UK. So they go for the majority party, you know, and they elect uh, their uh, leader to be the chief minister or a prime minister, okay? So we have MLA, member of legislative council, Assembly and Council and then we are Member of Parliament, both Upper House and Lower House. Okay. So that's coming back to what's happening. So coming back to the process, as I told you, now let's, let's see what's happening there now. So President Donald J. Trump, who is the President, president along with VP, is VP uh, Mike Pence, they are seeking for re-election. So that they can serve only two terms, four years, and the election will be on, note the point, the election will be on Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. So this election in November, first week Tuesday, is fixed for 200 years, it's how it's going on. The date is not fixed. Always remember this one, they say that in according to the constitution or whatever the law, that Tuesday after the first Monday in the month of November. This is how they say it. Uh, so the first Tuesday in the month of November, every four years the presidential election will take place. As president have one day two terms. President Obama, he was there for two terms, I think. Four, 2004, eight and 12. So, but this is how you now this presidential election happens. Then now, uh, the political parties you now in America that well, I wanted to brief it before also going to the Jitter, well, two political parties, but they have a libertarian and also green parties there. But the political parties, major political parties like Republican and Democratic parties, they call Republican parties uh, Grand Old Party. So. Mr. Donald J. Trump, the president, he represents the Republican Party. Their symbol is you no know, elephant and their color is red. So the three things, Republican, red and elephant. 
now democratic party they they have a blue color and the donkey this is the, the symbol but usually they don't use the symbols you know they use everywhere you can see trump pens 2020 or biden had his 2020 so when he come here you know but uh, our kamala had his people are so she is of indian origin all this you know people are excited you know uh, see this natural there okay her mother was from chennai she speak tamil she eats idli she is dosa all that one you know but if you look at the posters they do, they use surnames they don't use the first name they don't they don't use you no know, joe and kamala they don't use joe and kamala so he is is donald and uh, okay mike pence they don't use it like that they use the surname always they are not trump everybody is trump the ivanka trump uh, this trump that trump or the whole family is trump that's that's the family name and then they use in a pens the surname the same way they say aris and jo is a joseph is a joseph is jo they call uh, jo biden so they use biden and harris harris is kamala's father name surname is that her surname is that harris donald harris is the father name it's a kamala harris father also donald okay so jamaican so this is how they use it so i was talking about the you know, the what's happening now okay because of covid 19 okay covid 19 corona virus and this the pandemic you know so united states you no know, it's affected more more people are dying in america and then each state they had their own way of de- dealing with it so they did not postpone the election they did not delay the election or they no uh, they they said the election will be on november 3 okay so the early voting started in many states i think you know as of uh, last week there are 25 22 25 million people already they voted they call it early voting even the november 3 is the election day the election date so lot of states they allow the early vote i don't know i don't know why they have heard such things about so the early voting started and they are doing also postal ballot this is what more interesting and there are some uh, the cases are going in some court all that one so we we are not interested in that so the early voting they start people go to the booth and then they vote and the other one is pass no ballot you no know, you put it in the post box you no know, and then it goes to the post office they count it so they say that november 3 uh, you will not see the election result the same day because of the counting of the postal votes you no know, will be delaying the result because some states after november 3 they allow 3 days Three days for the post to reach the post office, the ballot. So as long as it's the date three, November three, you know, if they're putting November three and put it in the ballot, if it, three days they gave some. So this is all little confusing. You don't have to confuse about all these things. Totally, the American uh, voting population problem, their problem. But the whole world. they are watching this election the whole world is watching the election i watched the whole proceedings of the last year because previous year you know i couldn't watch it because even the time difference is like that i watched the primaries i watched uh, uh, okay the debates on the election day you know because this major news network in the united states like uh, cnn abc nbc and msnbc fox news you know there are a lot of uh, local cable network all day concentrate on that day it's very interesting to watch the people and you know, all declare declare projected projected so maybe this time that so time the election process to go getting into the election process and the electors electoral college okay a president needs 270 electoral college vote this is this is what you know, made me to make this video 
a pot to 270, the magic number 270, they give all kinds of name for the 270. Okay, so I have to do a lot of things because even though I watched the live, you know, following up, but this, this uh, electors and electric college was very, very confusing to me. I did a little bit of research and then I'm putting up before you. So this may help some people, you know, to understand those who are watching and uh, for the first time you know that the process of American election is totally different, not like uh, any other democratic country. Okay, this is my first video on the, uh, the process in which American election is done. Okay, just giving you an introduction to all that one, you know, this uh, thing. So in the next video, which I will release immediately, where I will explain in detail uh, about uh, the process, okay, the Senate, House of Representatives, and the congressional districts, how many representatives are there in the House, in the, you know, in the Congress, senators, who elect the senators, what this electoral college, who elect the electors of the electoral college, okay, all those kind of, so that we will discuss it's not part of the world, whatever the time zone you are watching me, thank you for watching my video, kindly share my video, if you think this video is of useful to some people to know the facts, okay, and you can share it and put like or you can comment it, okay, till we see next time till we meet in the next video okay so wishing you more peace love happiness good and god bless you all this is george prem kumar signing off